in the games in Rio, Michael Phelps going for a medal in his fifth Olympiad. It's something that's only been done once before by an American swimmer. And that swimmer joins us now live from Rio, four-time Olympic gold medalist Dara Torres. Good morning, Dara. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Michigan, gosh, I was there a few months ago visiting Battle Creek. It was a lot of fun uh, giving a speech to Kellogg. So hello to Michigan. Uh, Kellogg's uh, obviously responsible for this segment, so that's a good plug for them. Uh, what did you think of Western Michigan, Battle Creek area? <laughs> I, I actually enjoyed it. I didn't get to see a lot of it, but it was really pretty. I, I love Michigan. I've been there a bunch of times and just really enjoy it. Well, I mean, you're not far from us across the lake over there in Minnesota. Uh, do you ever, uh, when you're sitting there on Copacabana Beach, do you have in your head, her name was Dara, she was a swimmer. <laughs> You're funny, aren't you? You know, it is, oh, uh, there we go. It was, it's gorgeous here. I mean, what's not to love being in Copacabana? <laughs> well, we'll save it. I forgot I, about I, that song. At least I'm, I'm old enough to know it. That's right. You and I are relatively the same age. We both remember when Kellogg's called Honey Smacks <laughs> Sugar Smacks, and I'm still upset about that. But uh, we could talk all day about Kellogg's, but instead let's talk about the <laughs> Olympiad. What's going on? Uh, what, give me your um, handicap of Michael Phelps uh, going for the fifth gold, the fifth medal. Fifth, no, no, fifth medal, fifth Olympics. Uh, oh, I'm he's sorry, fifth Olympics. Third medal, yeah, exactly. So, uh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. He's, uh, yeah, you got me all flustered out. No, he, uh, he's, he's great. He's going to do a, um, an unbelievable job, like he always does. He's very tough. Uh, he made the team again, fifth Olympic team. Uh, the Team USA nominated him to be the flag bearer, which is all about respect because you're only nominated by your fellow athletes. So uh, he's just, I think, going to take it all in in a different aspect and really enjoy it. What would you, uh, if, for somebody, we have a, a, a former uh, gold medal winner on the show today, um, Tatiana, what would you tell somebody who is an aspirational athlete that would want to see their name in lights and themselves on the medal stand one day? What advice would you give? You know, this is why I'm really excited to be the captain of, of Team Kellogg's. And it's one of those things where they're great enough to be in this position where they've made the Olympic team. Now it's how do you deal be with being at the Olympic Games. And it's all about staying focused. You forget about what's going on everywhere. I know you hear that music, um, being at Copacabana Beach. But, uh, you know, you, it's about staying focused. And the athletes being in Olympic Village, they're focused. They have a task at hand, and that's doing the best that they can do. And as uh, a mom yourself, I understand that you drop your daughter off at swim and then leave. Uh, why is that? You know, it's one of those things where I just feel like I'm an expert in swimming, but she has her coaches and her coaches have to tell her what to do and not have me there. So I drop her off and she never knew that I left. It was just that one day she realized I wasn't parked in the same spot when we got there from when we left and she called me out on it. So uh, I just feel like the coaches need to coach and do what they need to do. Well, Dara, you've been sitting out there all morning uh, doing these five minute live hits. So we're gonna let you go, uh, catch your breath before your next one. Thank you for the time, it's been a pleasure. It's my pleasure, and just make sure your viewers go to kellogg's.com slash teamusa to watch some great videos on these first-time Olympians. There you have it. Thank you, Dara. Chuck, over to you.